Hello everyone, welcome back to Agri Addict. So in this video, I am going to give you complete details about like number of PhD seats and number of SRF seats. So there is a lot of confusion among, uh, among the students regarding the SRF and non-SRF, whether we have like NTS for a PhD or not, is it only for the PG? So there are a lot of doubts regarding this and a lot of students were asking like you are making every video for the PG not for PhD. So that's why like we are coming up with the detailed uh, data regarding the previous year about the number of total number of ICR seats plus total number of SRF seats for the different subjects. Okay. So, and if you have any doubts regarding the SRF counseling or the PhD counseling, you can drop a query in the comment section. Like we will definitely try our best to assist you people in this. See, first of all, I'll just try to clarify a few things to you. First thing is like when you write this exam of ICR PhD, it is not PG PhD. So now you have only two options. One is like you will get the SRF fellowship or you will not get SRF. Like non SRF is nothing but you don't get any fellowship in this case. Only one option that is available to you is SRF, which is the fellowship, which is like JRF bar SRF. Okay, for first, for first two years it is called as JRF fellowship, and the last one year it is called as SRF. So combinedly it is like JRF bar SRF fellowship that you will get if you write the exam of ICR PhD every year. Okay, so in this JRF bar SRF, you have to know that it is for three years only. Like other exams which we have like CSIR net, you have like UGC net and uh, you have DBT and all of these exams, you can write it and get the fellowship for how many years? For five years. Okay. You can take the seats from the ICR PhD. So this is one good option. For example, you write the exam of ICR PhD. For some reason, you are not getting very good rank because the students who are getting the top rank, they will get the prestigious JRF or SRF fellowship. But by any chance, like if you miss it, then you can write the exams of CSIR, UGC, DBT, even after admitting to the PhD university. And if you crack it, then you will be able to get the fellowship for five years, which is like equal to or more than the JRF bar SRF fellowship that is given by the ICR. That is the one good opportunity few people can explore even after taking the admission in the PhD. The starting you may not get the fellowship, but if you clear the exam of other exams, other net exams, then you will be able to get the fellowship here. So coming back to the number of seats, like if you can see, in the genetics and plant breeding, the total number of highest is like 133 that is in the GPB. So competition wise also, you can see the maximum competition for the GPB. And next highest is for agronomy that is 133. Are like not the fellowship seats, the total number of ICR PG, sorry, ICR PhD seats. Okay. So in that, how many are SRF? It is included for all categories, including all categories, it is 28. And the category wise, the differentiation will be given in the ICR counseling brochure. ICR counseling brochure that will be released during the admission time that is like counseling time the brochure will be released every year so you have to check your brochure of 2025 for this year and for next year 2026 and later on so where category wise the number of seats will be declared and also know in this category means like OBC or like UR or EWS all of them will be considered same okay there is no reservation for the fellowship in case of these categories only certain amount of fellowships will be given seats are given to the SCST Okay, so these are already mentioned that is separate other than that for all the students who are on the merit irrespective of which category they belong to they will get the fellowship based on your on their rank so this is this also are like uh, you can take the screenshot so i have mentioned for the genetics and agronomy rate uh, rest like you have it here for seed technology total number of seats are 31 but all india the number of seats number of fellowship seats are only four remember this and also plant genetic resource out of six only two fellowship seats are available and for plant pathology out of 120 17 seats are available all over india and also uh, students are confused like sir uh, if i have to secure the fellowship should i have to take the admission at ira only if i take admission in my state whether i get the fellowship or not irrespective of where you take the seat but it should be through the icr counseling on a government university saus or the deemed universities so whichever is present in the icr counseling from the counseling so if you if you do the choice filling and take the seat through the ICR counseling, whether you take it in a home state or your home university where you are pursued your UG, PG, no matter, nothing matters. So you will be eligible to get the SRF fellowship. So no need to worry about it. It's not that uh, the fellowship seat will be fixed for the university. The fellowship seat will not be fixed for the university. Merit student, wherever he take the seats to him, the fellowship will be allotted and directly it will come to its account. And also remember, once you take the admission, it may take up to one year or minimum six months to get the first fellowship. And even it IRI, which is like uh, very fast. 
in at IRI like student will get the fellowship very fast compared to any other agricultural universities but this year it has been delayed to almost one year so this th things can happen you have to be prepared for this right so these are certain things I wanted to discuss with you so if you have any doubts related to the SRF counseling or the PhD counseling or anything related to the PhD so you can comment on this video and as I told you like we will definitely try our best to give the right and relevant information that will help you in your counseling I wish you all the very best.